guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Emma and today I'm coming to you from my bedroom floor because I have not I have but I'm doing a little bit of a D stash update like a spring update because as you can see I did buy some yarn I did not I did break the little yarn band a little just a little bit because of this and I've been kind of keeping it in the one place and I haven't been very organized lately because I've been only doing not many projects. So my projects and my yarn is just kind of a little too messy for my taste. In the spirit of spring cleaning, we're going to just do a little bit of an update, a little bit of a refresh. Um, I talked about it in my original d stash video in January. I have like a list, like a plan. I say that I'm pointing over here because it's on my wall. I have like a plan for projects for this year. Um, let's just say I finished March and February projects and it's currently April 8th. So, you know, we're a little behind. School got a little crazy, but I'm going to try to reset as much as I can without like getting too stressful, you know? So I guess the biggest thing I need to do is get my next few projects in order. And the next project I'm starting off at home at least is my wave blanket. And it's using four of these ombre Bernat blanket like cakes and they take up like a whole section of my yarn shelf and I want to obviously take the yarn out of that section and put the yarn that's in this basket in there so then I can use this yarn as like a catch-all for my D stash like of the projects I finished this year so far I've had leftovers and these are all still good yarns and I don't want to like immediately get rid of them, especially this, because this is quite a bit of yarn. These are kind of a little bit more, whatever. But I don't want to immediately get rid of them because they are still good yarns. And if I can't, I think like by summer or late summer, if I still haven't used them, that's when they'll like leave my stash permanently. But until then, I kind of want a place to keep them because they're not project specific anymore. So I think I'm going to throw them in this basket, but that means this basket's contents need to be moved okay this video might be super underwhelming sorry this they're just thrown in here i don't know <laughs> and it's pretty empty now but you know whatever um i did i bagged so how do i explain this these two were already bagged these are each gonna be their own tank i think this is probably way too much yarn for a tank top but i might double it up because it's very thin i honestly have no idea um, there is a possibility because I have so much of it, it might become more than a tank top. I say tank top for all of these because I truly don't know how much, how far some of this yarn will get me. So I just say tank top because that's the least, the smallest thing I can make, I guess. Um, but these two were already bagged up. So these are just going to go in that little section. And then next, there's no really special way that I organize these bags. These two red sag fiber yarns. Oh, you can't even see it. I did that so weird. These two are going in their own bag just because this isn't going to be a tank top. This is going to be a vest. And I actually, I wrote vest on here because I don't want to forget that. This is going to be like a gappy vest, summery vest. I don't know how to explain it other than a vest. These I stuffed all in one um, gallon size bag. It's so bright. I'm sorry. They're just a really thin white cotton. Um, they're just in one gallon size bag. And then I threw the... Um, like non-hand-dyed yarns in one because I have a bit. So there's two different greens and then the brown. And these are just all from Joann's. Um, these, actually they're all different brands too. The better details are going to be in the March-April podcast. But this is an Eddie Bauer yarn, a Lion brand yarn, and a knit and crochet like Joann brand yarn. Should be enough again for at least a tank top. Maybe more, who knows. But these are all going to... They're in, this is like the two gallon size bags um and then these are the hand dyed ones i have well these are not these two skeins are not new i've had them for a while they were in my like august plans i moved them to make to into like the top section because these are the same brand so i have four now so that's definitely enough for a top and then these two i've had forever i even started a project that's why they're caked up but obviously that hasn't gone very far. So these are in their own bag because they're the hand dyed ones. 
Okay, and the lighting is kind of weird because it's coming from behind. But over here, I have obviously my, not obviously, but those are like acrylic um, yarns that I have. I got a lot of those were given to me. <laughs> like a lot of those were given to me. This is the section that I, the blanket was in, that is now for all my top yarns. And then these are cotton with the exception of that one right here is some Karen Simply Soft. Oh, that's Karen Simply Soft too, actually. But that's... These all have projects, that's why they're in bags. And then the rest of the, nothing has changed really. I'm throwing this super tiny, not even a mini skein, but mini skein into this plastic bag. This Ziploc bag is kind of like my sock bag. <laughs> um, in here I have a Sorella sock set, a hand dyed skein from Hobby Lobby, and one of the um, Eddie Bauer yarns, cause it's um, a weight one. And it's 150 grams, which should be enough to make a sock. Hopefully, I haven't made socks yet and I have sock yarn. Like, I'm getting ahead of myself. But these also went in their own baggie. Um, honestly, I'll throw them in one of these cubbies. I don't know which one. Okay, and then these two little balls um, don't have a project, don't have anything yet. So I am going to throw them. I have another cart over here, as we can see. I'm going to throw them in this one. These yarns don't have a project. They're just here, unfortunately. But where it's gonna live i couldn't i did the bottom <laughs> so as i've spent the first like three months of the year crocheting stuff for myself which i hadn't done a lot of until january i'm kind of getting an idea like the products i save the things i like think i want to make the ideas i think of i kind of am getting more of a sense of like what yarns will work for that i guess so i'm gonna go through these two um baskets and not that there was anything wrong with this yarn in particular, but it's a lot of random yarn that I didn't de-stash in January because I figured I might be able to make something with it. And I don't, so now I'm going to go over, I guess, with like fresher eyes and really think about like, am I going to use this? Can I think of something right now that I'm going to make with it? That whole thing. So I'm going to go through these and see if I can de-stash anything else. two empty baskets um and I'm going to try to quickly go through what I'm keeping and why or also what I'm not keeping and why first of all I'm not getting rid of this I'm just moving this this is regular old red heart yarn that for some reason I caked up um but this is just gonna go with my like work yarn like I I know I've said this in the last video but a lot of the my 100% acrylic that's like the red heart the big twist all that that I make um, dolls out of and like products I sell out of and so there's no reason for me to de-stash that stuff even if I'm not selling right now. I will in the future. We'll get to that in the future. So that's just going to go out there. Um, I don't know why this is here in the first place. Um, the second thing, I guess the first thing I'm keeping is this yarn that I talked about in my birthday vlog. So this yarn was given to me by a friend and I say given, no it was given I guess. They had it um, with their yarn because it was given to them and um, it's crazy as you can see and there it is, I promise you, it's like usable. If I can find the end. Hold on. It's just mixed with like so many textures and it was super tangled when I was at her house trying to like cake it up and like detangle it to use it. I had to cut it several times so that's why I have three little pieces no idea what this will be i'll probably hold it with something just to give it some body but it's too interesting for me to not keep and use in some way even if it's for some if it's even if it's for something tiny like i'm gonna use this because i'm just obsessed with how crazy it looks so that's that one next yarn i'm keeping is these three cakes of uh big twist living yarn i bought like six little balls of this two summers ago maybe a bit ago and I've used some of it obviously and this is what I have left um 
I'm just gonna keep this and use it for something eventually. I kind of wanna make a bag maybe, because I've already made a top out of it. So maybe a bag, I don't know, but that's gonna keep her. And then I have this single cake of Lion Brand Baby Soft, and it's, <laughs> it's two colors caked up together. This is what I have left of a baby blanket order that I had, and it was just a good yarn. I think I can make an accessory out of it, um, so I'm going to eventually. Two I got were thrifted, and I don't even think this, I don't know what they are, but they're like the exact same color. I don't even want to, is this what mohair is, guys? I don't know. It looks like it, but I have these two. I kind of want to make maybe... Well, hopefully a neo warmer. I don't know. Even if it's something small, I kind of want to just practice and see if I like the feeling of holding like a fluffy and non-fluffy yarn together. So these don't have a super concrete plan. Um, they could honestly end up as anything. I don't know yet. Um, this might be another thing that if we don't have it by the end of summer, it was a little too hopeless. But I have hopes to get literally anything out of this. Maybe a, maybe even a just a like keychain or something. Like a sun? That could be really cute. That could be cute. I have mixed feelings about. These are all Southwest Trading Co. Bamboo. And this is a patent. Oh god, what is it called? Silk Bamboo. But they feel about the same. Well, actually the Silk Bamboo is a little thicker. So maybe that's a lie. <sighs> I don't know. This could be an accessory on its own. I know I just made a head, a like little scarfy thing with a silk, with a silk blend. It wasn't bamboo, it was silk and something else. And I really liked how that turned out. So this alone could be something, but I just, I can't let go of these yet. I don't know what they'll be, but I can't let go of them yet. So I'm not going to. They're so good. They were so cheap. I got them at spare parts. So I'm keeping these. Now onto the things I'm not keeping. Um, first off are these three really random yarns. This white one is like a, I don't even know, it's probably acrylic. This is cotton and I have no idea what this is. This is a leftover from a top, like this has already had a project so I'm not whatever about this. And these I've just, I'm not going to use them. They're so, I don't know, I'm not going to use them. These two I'm a little sad to let go of and I might ask my mom if she can think of anything I can make with them because they're 100% soy silk and it's they're only 50 grams each so not a whole lot and this is a god probably a white one I don't know it doesn't say and it's like red and blue I don't know I just I can't think of a project which is why I want to get rid of them so I mean it's a good it's a good yarn but I can't think of a project so I'm going to ask my mom about this one actually and see if she can think of anything. It's not too crazy if I keep them, but yeah, I'm actually iffy about this. These four I would love to keep. I just don't think I'm gonna use these colors. They're 100% cotton, um, thread art cotton yarn. I don't even know if these are meant to be crocheted with. They're little 50 gram balls, supposedly weight four. I hate weight four because I feel like so many things count as weight four, but whatever. Uh, they're just a little too bright for me, I think. It's enough to make a decent accessory, but I just don't want to, honestly. So I'm just going to let someone else who likes brighter colors take these home um, from wherever I donate them to. I honestly don't know. And then the next thing I'm getting rid of is these four of the Lion Brand DIY Glow. They like, I swear to God, I feel like they discontinue it and bring it back every year. Because I don't know if it's just a seasonal thing, but it feels like everyone's like, they're going to discontinue it. What this one is, is when it's ex after it's exposed to sunlight, it glows in the dark, which is a very cool concept. And I saw these for the first time at my Joann's and Panic bought four of them because they were also on sale. Um, and my idea was that I could make little ghost keychains, but I'm still planning and this might bite me in the butt but I probably won't be doing markets after the summer so there's nowhere for me to sell ghost keychains so I don't need this 
<laughs> like, I just don't. Um, I have plenty of not, I think, what is this made out of? This is polyester yarn, which I have nothing against polyester yarn, but I have white cotton yarn and I have white acrylic yarn and I have white yarn. I don't need a glow in the dark, kind of small amount of it, you know? Last thing, there was a short era at the end of last year when I was thinking about making myself projects where I just started buying anything that said 100% wool because I was like, that's what the girlies say is good, so I'm going to buy it. I don't like wool. Um, I've come to find out I don't like 100% wool. Like plain old, plain old. It's just too scratchy for me. Um, I prefer like a really soft alpaca or like super wash maybe, but like I, I can't do the regular old 100% wool. So I, <laughs> I have this random brown skein, um, brown cake. It was a ball at some point. I don't remember. I caked this one up. These were one pretty big skein, um, that I just caked up into two. As you can see, they kind of look, can you kind of see that halo? It's so scratchy to me. And then this one's not quite as scratchy and it's honestly really pretty, but it's, I just, I'm not going to use it. And they're also, it's only one little thing. It's not enough. That's kind of like the, I think that's the majority of what I'm getting rid of. I'm going to go through the rest of my yarn really quickly because I did go through it all pretty thoroughly in January, but I'm going to go through that acrylic um, stuff that was donated to me. Um, some of my chunkier yarns are mostly for projects or mostly have projects set, but I'm going to go through them anyway. Um, and just kind of give everything a once over and make sure there's nothing else that I'm holding on to that I don't need. And yeah, probably put in a time lapse or something, but if I have anything else, I'll be back. <laughs> I apologize for the horrible lighting the windows behind me sorry um <laughs> this pile of acrylic is gonna be a blanket I know that for sure let me show this better this is gonna be a blanket I'm worried it's not quite enough for a whole blanket this is better but okay this is what I'm gonna keep because I want to make a specific blanket not a specific blanket but like that's the plan <laughs> I should say this is the stuff I'm getting rid of. I'm just not a fan, honestly. This is the stuff I don't know. So I have three of these Lion Brand jeans. It's 100% acrylic. It's just made to look like jeans. They got returned to my store and I immediately bought them. And then these were the ones I was given. This is the same jeans, but it's in red and tan. I like, I like it. I don't know if it can go in the blanket. I don't know if the, like, I don't know if the solid versus, like, slightly heathered look difference is going to bother me. Again, we'll have to talk to my mom because she's the person who gives me opinions. I don't bother anyone else with that stuff. And then those are Karen Simply Soft um, that I have. The thing with Karen Simply Soft is, like, I don't dislike it at all. I actually kind of like it. Um, I just don't know what I would make, like... I don't, I don't know. Like there's kind of a bit of the blue and then it looks nice with the black, but I don't know what I would make even with the two together. Like, I don't know what they would be, but like, this is a whole brand new thing, but I don't know. Again, we'll ask for a second opinion, but these are probably going to go away just because I literally, I don't want to make a top out of it. I have so much yarn for tops and the acrylic is going to be really warm for a tank top and I don't have enough for a not tank top. Like, I could make a hat, but, like, do I want a black and blue hat? I don't think so. So, actually, the more I say it, I should just get rid of these, huh? Probably just gonna get rid of them. While I wait for my mom to get home, because she's actually at work, um, while I wait for a second opinion on these jean yarns, I'm going to start writing down basically my whole stash because I didn't do that in January and I kind of want to be able to like look at num because I know I've used up yarn but I want to be able to like look up look at the numbers and like see how much I've gotten I I've used up so that's what I'm gonna do going um and I'll be back hopefully with an, a decision and some some stats <laughs> I'm back 
and decisions have been made. So for these, I'm missing one of the blue. I am going to put these in the blanket. Did I mention it was going to be a blanket? I don't remember. These two are going to, because basically, in case I didn't, all of that yarn, this yarn is going to, okay, someone just did a wheelie in front of my house. I can't, the things I see on this street. These two are going to go mixed in with the other colors in the blanket. And then I just figured because I have the most of these border, duh, why would I not have thought of that? It's going to be used for the border. And then we could not think of anything to use this yarn for. It's just, it's too thick to mix with anything that I have the purple for. It's just one ball. Like, I don't need a scarf. I don't need a hat. Like, I don't, someone will enjoy this. Just not me. <laughs> and then these two I am going to keep. I just, I, the soy silk is so, is so intriguing to me. I can't fathom getting rid of it. So I'm going to keep this and I'm going to put it in the sock yarn bag because these are both 50 grams. If I get really good at crocheting socks and I can figure out how to make a pair of socks with exactly 100 grams of yarn, these two together will make very cute mismatchy socks. Hopefully. Um, and I know like socks tend gen. Oh my. I know generally people want nylon in their socks because it's like holds up more. A, I could hold nylon thread in like the heel and stuff. I know people do that with knitting. So I could always get nylon thread, whatever. Or I can just have not super sturdy socks. I, I, right now, I don't care. Also, can we ignore this really red pimple? That's kind of crazy. Okay. I'm back. It's the next day. I did finish doing all the organizing and counting and everything yesterday, but the natural lighting had gone away and I didn't feel like filming more in my like weird cave lighting of a bedroom. Um, as you can see behind me, it does feel kind of dark in my room today because it's so overcast and cloudy. It's literally 11 in the morning and it's overclassed and cloudy, cloudy and it's just not a great thing. So I did, I forgot I have like a really bright light to you so you can see my face. But yeah, I thought I would do a little bit of a recap just to kind of see where we're going forward um, to the, like the halfway point of the year. So I took it upon myself to write out all of the yarn that I have um, with some exceptions but it did take five little notebook pages. For my yarn de-stashing, I'm not counting or including my work acrylic yarns, and I'll try to put a picture here so you see how much I have, but also that stuff's for, like, there's, pro like, that has a, um, has a purpose, and I don't need to de-stash it right now. I'm not counting my temperature blanket yarns, which is... All the stuff in this basket just because the whole point is to use it throughout the year like I'm not gonna make a effort to de-stash that um, and I'm not gonna count my scraps so that is my burnout blanket scraps and my acrylic scrap said I'm not counting this basket of leftovers because this is kind of like in limbo I've technically already done the project to de-stash but they're not quite gone yet in case I can use them for something else and then if I don't they'll be de-stashed eventually so yeah, and then my acrylic scraps, I'm not making an effort to de-stash just because, or I'm not counting, I should say, because they're really like random amounts, and they already have plans accounted for them. I'm working on a scrap blanket, and then whatever doesn't get used for the scrap blanket, I want to make one of those really scrappy beanies, and that'll probably be most of the scraps if I don't accumulate too much more. Like, I'm not worried about those. So now for the big number I feel like people might be waiting for, I counted up all my balls of yarn. And I have 239 balls of yarn. Okay, editing Emma here to say that I did have to make some changes after filming. I realized, I uh, not I realized, but I got rid of one more yarn after filming, so that's 238. Realized I forgot to count the four from the blanket, so that's 242. And then, don't yell at me, I bought 11 balls of yarn on, on clearance at work, so that's 253. Um, we'll show the clearance yarn in the podcast because I think it is really cute and I do have a plan for it. But yeah, that did bump up to 253. 
I want to kind of give some disclaimers because that sounds kind of crazy, but there's a few things. One, I didn't, um, I didn't count up my yarn in gram amounts or in, um, yardage. I kind of wanted to do gram, but I don't have a kitchen scale or anything, so there's no, like, effective way for me to weigh yarn, and it just would be too much work right now. Like, I'm not trying to buy anything just to weigh yarn or measure yarn. And then I have a lot of thrifted or thrifted balls of yarn and partial balls of yarn, so trying to calculate the yardage would just be more hassle than it's worth, I feel like. So I just counted, like, whole balls of yarn and came up with 239. You should also know... There's no size discrepancy. So this is a ball of yarn that is counted as one. And this is my biggest ball of yarn. This, um, in case you're wondering, it's one of those like Burnett cakes. It's all in one color. And they're usually like $30. The reason I got this one is because it was $7 at the thrift store. Like, of course I bought it. And then this is another one of my thrifted yarn. But like... None of them had labels, none of them, I can't weigh them, so you get the point. Um, so, te the, technically the total is 239 Yeah, so yeah. Um, my goal, I don't really have a number goal, but I am obviously trying to get that down from 239 Um, by my next update I think is gonna be probably like end of June, because that's like the halfway point of the year probably be around end of June, summertime, you know, I'm gonna try to get the number down. That's really all I have to say about that. My plans aren't changing too much. I will insert a screenshot of the doc I made for my plans for like March through June, just because even though we're in April, I haven't done the March things yet. So we're gonna try to check off as many from this list as possible. I do want to go over really quickly again, like my project setup, I guess. Um, I use this blue cart for current projects. So in this top section, oh, not me kicking my makeup. In this top section, I have the yarn for the customs I'm doing right now. I mentioned, I think in my last video, I'm not, I don't, I'm not like open for customs, but I have a lady who has supported me a lot in the past few years. And whenever she texts, I kind of like, will do whatever <laughs> I'll work on um anything really because she's just really a great person and i like to work with her so i have some dolls to make for her i really should have started a long time ago but we're getting to it so that's what these yarns are for these yarns are for my wave blanket um i bought that yarn impulsively last december and i need to make the blanket out of it that i plan to so that is the wave blanket i actually started it last night while I was editing. So that is going well. And then the way bottom section right now is kind of hard to see, but all I have in here is this silk bag. And this is like my travel on the go project, more like my school project, I should say, um, is my granny, my granny scrap granny squares that I'm making a blanket out of. That's what I work on at school. I keep them in those little pouches, kind of contained. I have a hook in there. I have the scissors in there. And that just is in and of itself. But I'm keeping it in the cart because I don't have anything in that bottom section yet. So, yeah. I kind of want to have another project starting soon. Just because the blanket is kind of a slow going thing. I'm not really stressed about it. The customs, I am going to enjoy doing. But they are more like work. And then... Um, my granny squares are on the go. So I kind of want like my own personal project to start. I just don't know what to do. Um, I have, um, for March, I had the green cardigan. I'm not going to touch that again yet. I did start it in, I started it in the beginning of March and I paused because it goes really slowly and it's too warm for sweaters, so I don't have the motivation to work on a really slow going sweater right now. So I need to find something else to start doing for myself. I'm thinking a tank top or my socks. I did buy a sock pattern, I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, if I don't get up the courage or have the time, because the thing with the socks is I need to like have time to sit down and focus on learning a new skill, which I don't always have. 
So if I don't have, find the time, then I'll probably start a tank top that I can do more easily. I've tried to restart the same tank top like three times since last summer. So maybe I'll finally get that one done or I'll start a new one. I really don't know. Maybe start a raglan because honestly, those are easy and I can like do that without thinking about it. So there's lots of options is what I'm trying to say, I guess. I just don't know what that is yet. I have not made that decision. I'll get to it eventually, but that's what's going to live in the bottom section of that blue card. So yeah, once school is over, like May, I think it's like the second week of May. Hold on. Let me check my calendar. I think it's the second week of May. Um, school's out and I'm very excited because I want to crochet things. Um, so yeah, hopefully in the next month or so, I'll kind of get more back on track with all this and my projects will get done faster and not take me a month to finish something. But yeah, that is kind of what the spring update for de-stashing is. I hope you guys enjoyed this little mishmash of chit-chatting, updating, de-stashing. If you guys are de-stashing, which I know a lot of people are this year, tell me what you're making, tell me what yarn you're going through, all of that down below. I would love to know. I love when you guys comment. It's super fun reading. Um just what's going on so yeah if you liked this video like comment subscribe all those things you can follow me on instagram tiktok or um not snapchat pinterest i'm on those things as well i want to i'm usually the most active on instagram or honestly on here i haven't posted on tiktok in a while um so yeah follow me on all those places do all the youtube things and i will see y'all next time hopefully with another project so, yeah. Bye! I just realized I filmed that whole thing with no mascara on. Bye, guys.